So in this lesson 39, let's talk about cup and handle, and then you understand how this pattern comes in, or how do you trade cup and handle pattern. Before even I tell you about cup and handle pattern, you need to know how does it go we get cup and handle, because we don't, we don't just get cup and handle pattern. So what really happens is that, because today we are talking about cup and handle pattern, but uh, in the later videos we'll do inverted cup and handle pattern. So we have two types of cup and handle. We have the cup and handle, number one. We have two types. We have the cup and handle, and we have the inverted cup and handle. You need to understand we have two different ones. So we have inverted cup and handle. So we have inverted cup and handle. So today we are not talking about inverted cup and handle. So we will focus on the cup and handle. So once we focus on the cup and handle, what we need to understand is that cup and handle is brought by a possible double top failing to create a what? Create a double, uh, to create a complete double top. So when a, a double top creates, uh, fails to create a complete a uh, double top, that's what gives us a cup and handle. So you need to understand, if I need to trade a cup and handle, first I need to identify a double top. So for instance, I have this double top, first top, second top. If this double top does not go further, maybe it comes and ranges around this area, ranges, what I will get, I will get a cup and handle. So if the market now finally breaks that first top, what automatically I will get is a cup and handle. So uh, if the first thing, the first thing you need to understand is how you have to identify the double top. And that's why I, I always say a double top have so many things because it can bath a cup and handle, it can bath a, a ranging channel, it can bath a complete double top, it can have so many things. So it's not hard to identify a cup and handle. On, the only thing you need to understand, a cup and handle comes after a cup, a double top fails to break a certain zone. And the zone that you are seeing is the half. So if the market fails to break that, it will automatically form this cup and handle. So the cup and handle comes by when a double top fails to break the half. So when, when it fails to break the half, that's what we will, we will be uh, aspiring to get a cup and handle. So how do we trade cup and handle once it breaks? That's the most important thing that you need to understand. So we will trade this distance. We always trade this distance. So cup and handle has to take profit. We have take profit one and take profit two. So always we have take profit one and two. And one is the one that is guaranteed, two is not guaranteed. So that's how we trade a cup and handle, guys. It's a double top that has failed to... Um, to break up. So for me, a cup and handle, I can call it the other name of cup and handle. I can call it failed double, failed possible double top. So people ask me, why do I call my double tops possible? It's because for me, I know it's either I have a complete double top or I have a cup and handle. So a possible double top have two chances. And let me draw it for you. Anytime you have a possible double top, a possible double top is the market that has the first top and the second top. So the second top. So the possible double top can either range and break the, it can range and break the half. And guess what? It will give us a complete double top. So this double top you are seeing has a chance of completing. So this one has completed. The next double top is the one that we are talking about, is a double top that has broke half, uh, ah, not broke half, the next double top is the one that has failed to break half, and what has it done? Activated, uh, uh, went to half, failed to break, ranged, ranged, and eventually breakthrough. So both of them are possible double top, but one, what the first one, what it gave us, a possible double top change from possible to a complete double top. But the second one changed from a, a double top, a possible double top to a cup and handle. So the first, the second one, that's what we call a failed double top. So we call the second one a failed the possible double top, but the first one will move from a possible double top 
to a double top when once half is broken. So it continues to be a double top. And there's another double top again, and I think I have even shown you, there's a double top again, first attempt, second attempt, and there's this double top. Yes, it will break half, and then it fails to break the neckline. So this double top, what it does, it forms a ranging market. So you need to understand that a double top alone can form three patterns. It can form a ranging pattern, it can do a complete double top, or it can give us a cup and handle, which is a ranging, uh, a cup and handle, which uh, we trade it as a cup and handle. So um, you need to understand uh, when you have a double top, three things can happen. So don't see a double top and you're so excited. Oh, it's a sell, sell, sell. Sometimes that market, you might try to sell and the market ranges. You might sell and the market gives you money quickly. You might sell in the market buy. So you need, even you can screenshot this page and this is what you need to do. You need to always know that a double top can bath these two patterns. So let's get down to our pattern right now. So anytime you open your chart, you have a possible double top. So you need to understand a cup and handle on a on an uptrend, it's easier to trade than a cup and handle on a downtrend. Why? Because if the market is going on an uptrend, 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 and then it creates a double top, then the double top fails to break. It is easier to trade this. Uh, it's it's easier to trade this cup and handle. Why? Because it's going to the direction of the market. So a cup and handle on an uptrend market is easier to trade it because we are even looking forward for that market to get rejected and continue the cup and handle. But to trade a cup and handle on a downtrend, it's not easy. This is where the market is on a downtrend, 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 and then comes and create this cup and handle. And then they are ranging here. And now we are attempting to reverse this market to go up. This is called a reversal market, which is not easy. So this double top, it, it won't be easy. It only depends. Uh, you have to, to look where the, the pattern is forming. So this pattern is forming on a downtrend and it is pushing market up. But this pattern is forming on an uptrend, the double top uh, that now will change to be cup and handle is forming on a, an uptrend, which makes it easier. So you need to know today, a cup and handle on, a, on an uptrend is easier than a cup and handle on a downtrend. So let's open our chart. This is daily time frame. So the first thing you will realize is that you have a double top uh, a double top that has been activated. Let's check if that double top has been activated. We have this double top. And the, the first thing we check if it has activation. So you can uh, zoom in to see if you have activation and you can see there's clear activation. So what we are saying is that once you have this double top like this, and this is a possible double top, you need to mark your neckline, you need to mark your half. In fact, you need to mark everything before even you predict what the market will do. You need to mark your half like that. You need to mark your neckline like that. So we have this double top and, and, and the market can do two things. The market can come here and get rejected. So these are some of the things you do even before the market starts to come. Like, you know, the market can come here and get rejected and continue. And when you say continue, it is going this distance because it is going the distance of the cup. So this is the distance of the cup above here. So that is the first, first thing that you need to tell yourself because it's on an uptrend. In fact, trading cup and handle is easier than even trading double top because double top is suggesting a sale. So you need to do so many uh, uh, very fast decision making and you have to do analysis on the, on the which is most preferred. So according to this cup and handle, I think uh, the double top, the double top that uh, will give us a cup and handle, it is easier in this chart rather than thinking this pattern can give us a can give us a complete double top. But it is not a must. So if it is, it's not a must. Why? Because the market can eventually come down and break half, come down and range. You see. The market can now take this as a range. That is one. We are not even interested in the range, but a double top mostly, it can come down and break 
and come again neckline and break and guess what it will go this distance so anytime you're trading these two patterns there's so much possibility of the market selling or buying so it's you to be very careful on the direction you're seeing and i will give you even a simple tip i will give you a simple tip to check what you'll be doing so the simple tip i'm giving you let's first um, mark the zones the simple tip i'll give you is to check anytime a double top is only on one time frame uh, the chances are that double top is very powerful and it will sell according to what you know double tops are there to sell so if this double top is only on one time frame it is gonna sell crazy so we need first to check if we ask ourselves is this double top is it or is will it be pattern one a cup and handle or pattern two complete so the only way to answer yourself is going to weekly and checking do I still have that double top available on the weekly? And the answer is yes, I still have that double top on the weekly, meaning this double top is not strong. A double top that is strong is the one that is not available on two time frames. So automatically I'm looking for a buy rather than a sell. So yes, I will sell, but I'll sell to half. And then all, uh, uh, even here you can see there's a, there's a there's an indication of this market giving us a double bottom. So there's so much uh, indication that this market can give us a double bottom and even that double bottom can uh, make this market up. And then another thing we'll check on this double bottom, that's, the thing we'll check is, do we have that double bottom on the weekly? Because if we don't have that double bottom, of course they will use one pattern time frame. So you come back to your weekly time frame and you're checking, do you have that double bottom? No. Meaning if the market come to that area, you need to pay attention because the market can make sure they have used the double bottom. That's what I tell you. Forex is very easy and, and it's very simple to understand. It's just that you are not aware of these things. And because I'm now telling you here, I'm, be able, I'm able to illustrate everything for you. You're able to know that yes, a double top that is available on two time frame, it's not easy to trade it a sell, but it can turn to be a cup and handle. And I still need another reason for me to buy. So if this market now, people who are waiting for sell confirmation to trade a double top, because for me, I can't trade this. I have told you, if a double top is in two time frames, I cannot trade this. But someone who is trading this double top uh, out of ignorance or out of saying, ah, let's just trade it, they will use WBB. Uh, for me, I by the I avoid such trades. I avoid trades where I don't want to trade a pattern that is multiple time frame. So even you, you can avoid and you all your attentions and all your mind should focus on this double bottom. So if the, someone comes out, uh, they can trade now an entry of sale. And funny thing, sell can also, you see that's 100, 117 pips. So funny thing that people don't understand, a cup and handle can still take half of the half. The market can come and react at the half of the half. Where this market is, if it starts to go up, it can still form a cup and handle. So it's not a mass, it reaches half. As long as we have a red candle, still the market can decide to break and continue up. So for me, even this trade I was avoiding, because this is a trade I was in. I was avoiding to trade it and my energy and everything was on that double bottom. So the market comes and activate our double bottom. Now I pull out every resources, every energy ahead, and I wanted to trade this double bottom. Why? Because this double bottom, let me show you something. This double bottom we have seen it's not available on the, on the weekly. So my attention was on this double bottom. So this becomes my neckline on this double bottom. If they break there, if they break there, and uh, they will be giving me this distance. You see, that is the distance the market will go. And you see, overall, if this market breaks this, this zones overall, it will have accomplished a cup and handle. So you can see you have a cup and handle stroke, a double bottom, that is double confirmation. So uh, for me, I was waiting for, for my entry level, was have to be broken so that's your entry level because you can't you don't want to enter here because the market can still break and go down so we wait carefully to see what really happened so you have a green candle the market reject reject the half and all along you're not involved in this trade you're not involved why because there is a rule that you have made for yourself so in if they will not break that half you can't enter and this was our first trade you can decide to trade 
uh, because the cup and handle has not broke, we are trading the double bottom. That's another mistake people do. Don't enter the trade and target to the half of cup and handle. Notice cup and handle will be active if they break that first uh, bottom. So we will trade up to there. So that was our take profit. Our take profit was to trade that double bottom. So that was 92 pips. So let's see what happened. After that 92 pips, the market breaks the neckline. Now you have an advantage of the market has hit the neckline and it has it has hit the neckline and broke. So as we are waiting for the, you see here we have P1. Let me show you. We have P1, this is our pattern one, P1, double top. And then P2 will be the double bottom. This is our P2 and P3 will be the cup and handle. So you, for you to find a cup and handle, you have tested so many patterns in between. So if they break overall here, we'll have a cup and handle. So because neckline has broke, we are thinking the market can either go to first half of the distance, half of the distance, and we can target half of the distance as we are waiting for the dub for the cup and handle to break because we don't want again to be ignorant. So you enter the market around there and we are waiting now. That's another 91 pips. So as you're waiting, you have known why are we targeting half of the double bottom because it's the what well, that's what is guaranteed. The rest is not guaranteed. So let's see what happened. So the market still is not breaking our cup and handle. Our double top is not breaking. So we wait and see if everyone was waiting for that cup and handle, you'll be late. You'll be late, guys. Why? Because they have used this double bottom because it's only a double bottom on one time frame. It is very powerful. And in fact, it has finished everything. So the market made sure this double bottom has finished all 225 pips. But you see, for us, we got from the break, we got 106 pips. But this is now another indication of trading. You're being told now you can trade pattern. You can trade pattern three. How do you trade pattern three? By going to lower time frame and looking for part for entry. So we are trading pattern three that is a cup and handle. You can see now how how where we are trading pattern three. We are trading it on the on the we are trading cup and handle on pattern three. So all along you had pattern one, you had pattern two, and now pattern three. Let's see if the pattern three TP1 will be hit. Can you see TP1 was hit? TP4 is not guaranteed. So I don't know if it will hit pattern four, but eventually cup and handle completed. What I can tell you guys is that cup and handle is easier because it goes mostly on an uptrend. It is going supporting the uptrend. So that was a very easy trade. What you need to take from this video, you want to capture the data that I've shown you and you need to trade it step by step. Yes, you have a double top. If at all that double top is available on multiple time frames, start thinking of a way to trade the other pattern, which is a cup and handle. And then once you're trading cup and handle, you don't have to wait for that cup and handle to break that first, for, uh, first top. You can wait for the cup and handle to break, uh, to give you like a pattern like a double bottom. So I will, I will show you where a cup and handle, uh, the market uh, had a double, a cup and handle that broke that first top and completed. And now we show where, yes, the cup and handle has broke, but the market fails to complete. So it's you to understand that, yes, this is the first outcome, but the cup and handle does not always work like this. So in the other videos, I'll be explaining why we have a double top. You have a double top like that. And then the market comes and reject the half and then comes and break the top, but eventually comes down. What causes the cup and handle to come back down to retest back that area? So you might have a double top. Yes, it has rejected half, but immediately the market is breaking the first top to give us a cup and handle. And you're thinking, oh, it will buy. The market goes down and sell. So I will show you the, not always the market will be like this. You see, when you have a pattern, you need to know not always it will be this smooth. There are sometimes, yes, you have the same cup and handle, but before that cup and handle completes, it will have so many patterns inside.
for you, you just need to identify this is pattern this, this is pattern this. So, and 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 you see, pattern three is what was used to come to finish because uh, even pattern two, they finished, they finished the pattern two and pattern three, they finished. What they didn't finish is pattern one. Like I said, pattern one is very conspicuous. Everyone can see pattern one. Everybody is there to see pattern one. That's why I think they are not even, they don't pay attention on pattern one. So thank you so much guys for watching in lesson 40 because we are doing lesson 40 uh, because now we have done 40 videos. Imagine 40 lessons worth of content. You can go down to the description box and check the link and you'll get the playlist. We have done all these lessons. It's you to tell God to open your mind, to open your eyes, to be able to know what I'm saying, to be able to understand and all the best. Let me see. I hope from now henceforth you'll be trading cup and handle and see you in lesson 40. Bye-bye. Love you.